Hi, I'm Deep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com, and in this video we'll be working with some of the advanced features of our live test module. In particular, uh, we'll be looking at the advanced mode, which allows us to use tokens to render the tabs uh, anywhere on the page, uh, including third-party DNN modules. So let's see how that works. What I have here is a default installation of .NET X7, and on the top here I have the live tabs module. Um, with three tabs and some arbitrary continent in them and on the bottom I have the instance of our live block module which we'll use later in this video uh, so right now this uh, live test module is nothing but a default inst uh, standard installation and uh, I've configured it using the default mode uh, and added three tabs to it with some content through our managed tabs interface so nothing special, just normally how you would use uh, the tabs module. What we're gonna do now is uh, go back to the options and change the uh, tab mode to advanced instead of default. What that does is gives us a token which we can use to render our tabs anywhere on the page. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this token and hit update. The first thing you're gonna notice is now tabs gonna disappear. They no longer appear within the module. And that's by design. Now, the tabs will appear wherever I paste that token on the page. So let me illustrate that by adding a new module. I'll add a HTML content module on the page. And uh, it's right here at the very bottom now. So let me go ahead and add it content. I'm going to go ahead and paste my token in. So there's my token. I'm just going to hit save. What's going to happen now is we'll see the tabs appear in the HTML module right here fully functional just like they were before any options themes or any settings that we apply on live test module on the top will, will appear on the bottom right here so that's great uh, that allows us to uh, show live tabs in different parts of the page so how's that really effective let's say what we're gonna do now is try to you know, get rid of this HTML module and try to show the tabs instead uh, in our blog module instead of the HTML module so let me do uh, one more thing. I'm going to go back to options, and I'm going to actually change this to something more readable. I can choose anything here for my token. So I'm going to create some something of my own called my tabs. Again, I'm going to copy this and hit update. And what I really want to do is this is one of the blog posts. When I click on a blog post, I and when the blog post appears, which is right here, is I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, tabs module uh, in the post itself. So let's actually go ahead and create a new post to illustrate what we're doing first in our blog module. So I'm going to go ahead and write new post and I'm going to give it a title called Working with Live Tabs Advanced Mode. And let's say, we'll just use the general category and we'll say, this is a short description of this blog post which illustrates how to use live tabs and then we can have some tags here. I'll just do them live tabs and, and live blog. And then of course we have a lot of content. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to paste some arbitrary content in here so we have a long post here. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, save this, create a new post. So what we have is now a new post working with live tabs advanced mode and we have all the content right here. And if I click on the post uh, to see the, the, the post itself, I see the post right here, I have the ability to add comments and so forth. So what I really want is now to actually show the the tabs right here in this post. So let me let me go ahead and do that. Uh, the way live tabs work is it's completely, uh, I'm sorry, the way live blogs work is completely template driven. So this particular page right right here is, uh, is, is a template driven page. Um, so we can edit that HTML and template to, to render whatever we want. So let me bring um, the file structure of the site in 
into the view. In the desktop module folder, I have the live blog installed. So I'm going to go to live blog and choose themes, choose the theme I'm using, and go to the template folder. In this template folder, I have something called post.htm. And this is the post.htm that is responsible for creating this page. So let me bring that into view. And it's nothing but some HTML with tokens to render this page. Uh, and we're not going to go into this in detail just to kind of show what we're doing. What we have here is this one token called post summary. Now this is where it's showing us all the the content of that particular post. Before it actually shows us the content of the post, what I'm going to do is paste in, or type in rather, my token for my tabs. I want to show uh, my tabs before I actually show the post. Of course, what I want to do is add two break lines right underneath. I'm going to go ahead and save this and to have the template uh, changes take place we have to actually restart the website so because live blog caches everything for performance so we want to make sure that we go ahead and recycle the website for the changes to take in place. Okay so the site has refreshed and what we see now is we do indeed see the tabs uh, appear in the post uh, right up with the content and we have two break lines as we added in and, and uh, now we have tabs inside uh, our post page only. So if I jump back to the, the main page, uh, we won't see it on the main page because we added specifically to the, uh, the post itself. So if I click on the post, I will see the tabs right underneath it. And there it is. Now, this is really interesting because it allows us, me to take my static tabs with some static content and put it somewhere else in another module or somewhere else on the page. But it could get more interesting. What if I actually wanted to take some of the dynamic content of each post and put it into the tabs? And we can certainly do that. Let's see how we can do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the live tabs uh, and we're going to edit it further, configure it further. Uh, let's go back to the edit page. And we're going to go to manage tabs. I know I have uh, three tabs that I created, the introduction article and about us, and there's some static content in there. So we're, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the static content. Since I no longer want to show this content, I'm going to make the tab uh, empty, all three of them. So go ahead and do that really quick. Delete everything so there's no styling or anything else coming through, through the editor. Go ahead and delete that here as well. Now, going to do is go back to the introduction tab and I'm going to go to the settings and we're going to go to integration and what we have here is something very unique that you only see if you're running in advanced tab mode it's called display token and I can take this token right here and paste it anywhere on the page and whatever appears between these two tokens is what's going to become the content of that tab so let me illustrate this concept. I'm going to go ahead and copy this token and I'm going to go ahead and bring my template back into the view. Okay. And as you see we had my tabs right here. I'm going to get rid of the break lines. I'm going to go ahead and paste my token. And instead of having your content here, I'm going to add this post summary which was responsible for generating the post. I'm just going to cut and paste it right here. So I'm saying I want this entire summary coming in this tab. Let me go ahead and save this. Let me update here. I'm going to go ahead and recycle the application pool or restart the website so the changes through the theme or template takes effect. Alright, so the page has refreshed and what we see now is we have the entire post appearing in the introduction tab uh, and it's no longer underneath the tab and that's exactly what we wanted. But we can make it even better. Why have just the post appear in introduction? I can actually take the introduction of this post and put in an introduction, the whole article into the article and some author information into the author tab. So if I click right here, I, I do see that 
the live blog has some information about the author who actually wrote this post uh, that actually happens to me just for the demo purposes so I want actually that information appearing in the tab and let's see what we can do to get all that uh, set up alright so let's set up set this up further we'll uh, go back to our live tabs and uh, grab the grab the other tokens that we need. We already got introduction so let's go to article and uh, back to settings and to integration and uh, we'll copy this right here and then we'll bring our template into the view and we'll paste right here and it doesn't really matter where it's on the page as long as it's there somewhere then let's also get the about author and to, sorry we'll go to settings and integration and there it is and then we'll add this one as, as well so we have three tabs uh, right now and one of the tabs we have the introduction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the token here. I'm going to say I only want the description of my post or the introduction to appear here, and then I want the entire post to appear in the second tab. And then instead of description, I'm going to say I want the full HTML content here. And my third tab, I'm going to say I only want the description of the block. So I'll just grab that from here paste it in for my convenience and I'll paste it right here and we'll go ahead and save this template and I'll return back and again we'll have to re recycle the application pool for the caching to clear for the themes ok so now that page has refreshed uh, I can click on the post link and uh, see that I have my tabs and now in the introduction I only see the description of the post and if I click on article I should see the entire HTML post which I do and if I click on about author I should see the blog description right on top and I do see that so it's all working as, as we intended to let me go back to the main page and what if you want to really see is that it's truly not dynamic if I click on another post I see its description and the introduction its entire content in the article pane and again the static blog description which is going to be same for all posts so in a nutshell that's really what advanced tokens allow us to do it gives you a lot more flexibility uh, in previous versions of live tabs we, we had the ability to embed any third party documenting module inside the tabs and uh, We've, we, we can still do that, but we've taken a step forward this time and we can now take a live task module and embed it inside any other third party module. So you could actually take a, a third party module, put it inside live tabs, and then take the entire package and put it inside another third party package. So it's, it's, uh, it's just amazing with the number of possibilities you can do with this, uh, this nifty advanced mode. And let me share uh, one of the reasons why we did that because we have a few clients that are currently using uh, Wenfrian and their property agent module and here's a page a demo page of that module basically allows you to list properties um, for uh, so people can bid on and buy them or, or so forth and one of this property uh, listing pages here shows information about the property uh, has a map and has the agent details and a lot of our customers what they did is they took this page and instead of having it laid out like this they created tabs in them and they had a tab for the property information maps and then agent details so uh, it really allows you to go ahead and, and organize your content uh, in third party .net modules using this live tabs and mods feature and you can always go ahead and hide the container here and then you would never even see that live tabs exist on the page and it will only appear where you intend it to appear in our case inside this post uh, within our live blog module so that's it uh, thank you so much for watching the video if you have any questions please do uh, open up a support ticket and we'll be happy to assist you thank you so much